we've had a two good days training to be fair the boys have as you can imagine after the last couple of results are in good spirits so uh, now we're really looking forward to the challenge and you were, you were hoping to have a bit more of a relaxed atmosphere around the place and I'm sure that's the case yeah it is um, I, mean, I think they're all really looking forward to it and it's uh, it's up to us now to really go down and, and, and try and do ourselves justice and uh, you know make sure that we put on a performance for them. I mean, you talk about the recent results, which will give them heart, but certainly the, you know the, the performance against Port Vale as well. Yes, yeah, uh, it's going to be much the same. We'll be back against the wall. They'll have a lot of possession of the ball. Uh, watched them against crew, a really good crew side, and they demolished them um, really well. So. We're under no illusions, the task in front of us. It's going to be, you know, every every man to the the pump, and uh, we need to, you know, uh, be resolute in our defending. Is it the spotlight very much on, isn't it? You know, with the, with the TV coverage and everything else. Yeah, I mean, there's there's, there's been a load. I mean, um, this last round has just shown the quality of what the national league and the, the non-league are producing. You know, uh, uh, there was there was a few shots and and. Um, you know, and that just shows the quality of it at the moment. So now we've we've got a massive task in front of us, and we'd just like to go down there and do ourselves justice. And obviously, you've got players within the squad who have tasted FA Cup before. I don't admire it. The obvious one as well, but others who are totally new to it to a degree. Yes, yeah, we've got some young bodies that this would be new, and um, we thought it might be a bit too much for them going to Port Vale. But this is this is another no disrespect to Port Vale, but this is another step up and. Uh, if we get the same reaction as we did at Port Vale, then they'll do themselves justice, that's for sure. And the surroundings as well, you know, you're going to a side that won the competition a couple of times, you know, a massive ground. Yeah, oh, the, the revel in it, the, I, I can uh, just see them going out there, you know, and taking in the atmosphere and the pitch is magnificent. Um, and they're reveling it, they really will. And it's, 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 uh, it's going to be a hell of an experience for some of the boys. Uh, well, for all of us, it's going to be a hell of an experience. And it's just, I said before that it's just a shame that we can't take a crowd down there because they would have enjoyed the day as well. Yeah, the occasion is marred to a degree by that, isn't it? But nevertheless, it's still a fantastic competition. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, and, and a massive achievement for this football club. It really is. It showed how quickly we've come in a very short period of time. So uh, now we're just we're really looking forward to the occasion, and um, hopefully we can do ourselves, you know, justice there. It's an incredible journey that the, the club is still on, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's happened quick. It's been a quick rise um, in the last two or three years. But uh, um, no, the, the players have been superb. You know, but I've always said that we've got a really good group here. And uh, this is a, a good reward for them, you know, playing at such a prestigious football club like Portsmouth. We talk about Mazza's experiences in the FA Cup and yourself as well, and that's going to be important for those who are the less experienced guys. Yeah, they can lean on lean on the likes of Maz, Jarves, and, and, and Gashi as well. You know, they've experienced players for us, and um, their experience will really help them. You know, to settle in down and just enjoy the occasion, which we're going to. I mean, obviously, there are going to be changes, aren't there? You've got some players unavailable. Still, what, what the situation with the with the injured guys? Well, Jones is still out, unfortunately. He's 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 not going to make it, uh, which is a shame because he started the season ever so well, and this injury's come at a poor time for him. Uh, and then, obviously, we're well, hopefully Gashi will train with us Thursday, uh, Thursday evening. We'll see how he is. He's, he's working ever so hard to, on his fitness levels. Um, and then, of course, we're missing Cairo because he's he's obviously cup tied, which would be a big miss for us because I think he started his. His, his career here really, really well. You mentioned on Saturday that Gashi might figure. Was that serious? Yes, yeah, well, hope, hope so. I mean, it all depends how he comes through and how he's feeling. He knows himself if he can come um, come on. I mean, we ain't got big numbers anyway. So, um, and having a couple of injuries as we've got, there's, there's room on there. I, I don't think we're going to even feel the bench this weekend. But... Uh, no, if he feels feels right and he feels in himself that there, there could be a chance that he could actually make the bench, which is it's brilliant. It's brilliant for the football club and himself. It's a great lift for everybody, isn't it, really? Because, you know, he's been an integral part of what's happening here at the moment. And it's a shame that he's been missing out. Yeah, he's, 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 he's picked pick this virus, or not the virus, sorry, this, this is um, what, what hit him uh, at the wrong time. So it's... it's 
But it would be a big lift for him to be a part of it because he's dying to get back in. He knows he's not match fit yet, and you know we're going to have to be patient on that. But it's uh, it's uh, it'd be a big boost if he can come come and be a part of it. Yeah, and on Jonah, it's a shame for him because he's got a lot of connections down in Portsmouth. Apparently, oh, no, he has family connections. Yes, yeah. So uh, now it's just a shame. Like I said before, he started the season really well, and. Uh, um, It'd be, it's a shame for him that he's going to miss this occasion, but it's, it's probably just a week too soon for him. The competition still massive for, for you. I mean, you've ever experienced it as a, as, as a player many times in, in the past, but is it still a massive competition? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, especially at our level and to get to the round that we've got is, is fantastic for the football club, you know. And uh, um, I had good times in it. We were, unfortunately, it didn't get through to the, the main one, but we lost uh, in two semi-finals. But uh, no, great, great um, com- cup competition, um, worldwide known. You know, it's 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 historic, and uh, to be a part of it at this late, you know, this late run is is, is great. I'm sure it's going to be difficult to temper the the, uh, the, the tension and, and the nerves for, for the guys, you know, on the day certainly. Yeah, well, the first 15 minutes is going to be massive to us. So again, we will look to break down the, the game into parts and, and see if we can still be in it and make sure we're tight and, and, and work your way in it. But it's how we're going to start, you know. It's, it's, we're not going to have the ball. We're not going to have a, a lot of the ball or possession-wise. So we've got to be resolute in what we're doing and our structure and organisation has got to be at the top notch because this is a, a real, real high high calibre of team we're playing. Had any uh, any experiences with Kenny Jacket in, in, in the past at all? Have you come across him at all? Yeah, I've, I've obviously played against Kenny's teams in the past. He's, he's, he's a fantastic coach and he's, he's got these real well drilled and uh, they've had a really good start. So, uh, no, he's, he's a very good manager and a good coach. And um, um, like I said before, this is, this is a big task for us. And uh, uh, the boys are really looking forward to it, so hopefully we can go there and do ourselves, you know, proud and do the town proud. I'm sure they will. Do you refer back to that Port Vale game when you're talking to players between now and Saturday and say, look, this is the good bit you did, and it's going to probably be similar? Do you, uh, do you look at it and say, do that again? Yeah, well, it's, it's only going to be on, on, on the possession side because we're not going to have a lot of the ball. So the times we do have it, we have to co- cause them some some sort of problem and, uh, and release the pressure a little bit. But uh, it, I think it's going to be really, really important that our organisation, the distances between each unit are, are really real tight and we don't give them too many little pockets to play in. Uh, but they were a good side. They were a really, really good side. We've watched them. We had a report on them, and, and we've looked at the past few games. So we're under no illusion. This is, this is, is a big game. Big game. Scoring a lot of goals of more than anybody else, actually. So I think in yeah. League One. Yeah. But you're just coming off, off the back of two clean sheets. So you've got a defence that's now yeah. feeling a bit better about yourself. I think, aren't you? Yeah, I think I've, I think our defenders are, are looking forward to the challenge. Uh, uh, you know they're in good spirits. You know we've got some good experience in that in that department as well. So uh, it's going to be great. It's, going to, it's, it's, it's a hell of an experience for all the, all the whole football club. So we just want to do ourselves proud, the town proud, and all the fans proud that you know they can say we went there and really give a good account of ourselves. Didn't really get a chance to, to sort of talk too much about Kyle after Saturday's uh, first game, but I mean he sort of walked in there like he'd been around a little while. No, no. So, Good, wasn't it? Yeah, he's, um, that was his first game for a couple of months as well, which uh, because bef- before he left Sligo he was injured, so he didn't play the last couple and he's obviously been over here a while. So now he said he felt his legs and the first 15, 20 minutes was a bit of a blow, but then he got his second breath and built himself. You can see the quality he's got. He's got. He's very composed on the ball, looks comfortable and he's, he's a defender, first and foremost, and that's what we need. Um, you mentioned no Cairo, obviously he made his presence Saturday. So, you know, you started the season without Gash and Marriott. You know, yeah. it, 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 it's sort of almost gone under the radar how difficult that would have been, how, what a big loss that was. Yeah. But Saturday, is it, without giving you anything away, is it a straight choice, Mazda or, or Southwell? Well, it's, it's them too. It's, it's to see, see what fits um, and what will help us get up the field and, uh, and movement when we when we the times that we were in possession of the ball. So it's, um, I thought Dale was excellent at Port Vale, put a hell of a shift in, and then Maz quality coming off the bench, where he's enticed a couple into him. And um, no, it's a, it's a good dilemma to have, and, and they're both raring to go. Uh, 
I know Maz missed a, lot, a chunk of pre-season, but his, his experience around it and his know-how, along with Dowell as well, who I, I think has been superb uh, this year. Sometimes probably talking Arsene Wenger more than anybody else, but managers look at this competition and think, no, oh, we can team, but you don't have weakened players, it seems to me, that if you bring somebody off the bench, it's a good player, because yeah. you don't drop people, yeah. Yeah, it's just no, moving I, good players. I, I, I think the, the quality on the, off the bench now is real, real high calibre, mm. um, and it's, it's great for a manager to look behind and see them weapons that can actually go on and affect the, you know, affect the game, um, and that's what's really important to us, um, and it's just trying to keep everyone on par and on level. Um, but no, the, looking behind you and having them weapons like on Saturday, you know, you bring Mayers and Kingy on, who are unbelievable quality, the pair of them, you know, so it's, it's beautiful for to, to have that problem. <laughs> and having them here on the Tuesday as well, they're gelling. I see there's a table tennis table as well. I seem to recall another club at it in Norfolk having a table tennis table once. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's becoming a youth club down there at the moment, but <laughs> it's, uh, no, brilliant, it's brilliant because that bonding experience and being around each other as well can only help the football club, it really can. And we've got a tight knit dressing room anyway, and adding this as well, you know, you, you, you're looking at one o'clock in, in the afternoon, half one, and we've still got players hanging around the place, it's fantastic. Can I just go back to the, the news from yesterday about football fans being allowed back in, hopefully soon? Yeah. Um, what's your reaction to that? I mean, it's been ridiculous out there, it's just yeah. bizarre, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it'd be, it's great for us to, to get the fans in here because they've been a part, massive part of the journey that we've been on because uh, once this, you, you fill this place up and the noise they generate, they've, they've driven this football club on with, along with the players. You know, in the last two years, uh, I can remember going deep into games where the crowd's actually seen us through games, you know, with the, the, you know, how noisy they've been. So to have even a small part of them back in will we'll lift this place tremendously and the players will feed off of that. I was going to say, do, do players, because players always say, oh, we can't hear people moaning at us. Funny, they can hear them cheering. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, they, do you think that team would, would benefit from that more than, yeah. say, not County? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think, I think having, uh, having a crowd in here, especially in this stand and the noise they can generate, will only help us. It really will. And... Uh, um, the sooner they're in, the better it will be for everyone. I think, you know, speaking through football itself, you know, at any level, that having a crowd behind you is, is fantastic. And then you get your old dugout back. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah we could do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you talk about, we talk about Port Rail and so the experience of, of going to a, a stadium like that, like going to say, like that, performing, how big is that for, for the team looking ahead to, to Saturday? Yeah, I, I think going to Port Vale will help us because, um, you saw when the players were in the middle, you know, in the, uh, when we arrived and they went to the middle of the pitch, the surroundings they took in and they revelled in it. And this one, again, is a fantastic stadium, really. It's, it's, uh, it's a lovely pitch by the looks of it as well, which will help. Um, and uh, just to get our young players in there and, and you know, and looking around. And our, and our, you can't beat it. The experience they get from this moment will be fantastic for them. I know everybody's sort of talking about Saturday, everybody's focused on Saturday quite rightly, but it's the start of a really busy period for you. You've got Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, yeah. straight away afterwards yeah. in the league. Does that does that come into your mind in terms of how you how you prepare for, for Saturday? You know, may, you know, knowing you've got you've got that, and then obviously yeah. Christmas just around the corner. No, I think I think that this game will take care of itself because it's a one-off game, uh, and then our minds will quickly go. So the run of games that we've got, which are unbelievable, we've got such a run now to, till Christmas or even after Christmas. So December's going to really test us, it really is. So uh, now we'll deal with this one, um, deal with this one first, get this one out of the way and then uh, regroup for the, for the league programme because it's going to be uh, a test in December. Yeah, I mean, if, you talk, you know, if ever you needed a proof of how far the club's come, December's you know, Hartlepool, Chesterfield, Notts yeah. County, yeah. massive football clubs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, you know, huge occasions all, and you know, the first, you know, first game here with fans against the, against the leaders. Torquay, yeah, we were going fantastic. So it's, I mean, the two games we hit, we've got here, not including the, the trophy because we don't know who we got there, but having Notts County and Torquay here, are, 
unbelievable games for this football club. And uh, uh, no, I, I agree with your sentiments there. It's, it's 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 a level now that you look and think, now, now this gets a little bit serious. So uh, no, we're. The good thing with this group, they rise. They they rise to the challenge, and um, I'm, I'm just. Um, I think we will do. I mean, the challenge is ahead with the games coming up. I think this 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 group will grow again and, uh, and kick on again. And uh, it's going to be a testing time, but we're you know that's why we're in this league. We're we're in this league by right, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna attack it head on.